Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Good morning viewers, uh, praise the Lord. Once again, welcome to our morning devotion on this particular day. My name is Reverend Elphas Bire. It's a delight to see you. It's a delight to connect with you on this virtual platform. We are looking at running the race of faith. And I was looking at um, uh, um, keep your eyes on the finishing line. Keep your eyes on the finishing line. And I was trying to give an, uh, a story that you look at our, our, our champion, um, who was running in the Ineos uh, challenge. And um, our brother, as he was running, I, at one point I realized the vehicle that was ahead of him was giving him a racing speed of which, or a, a running speed, so that he's able to finish some minutes before two hours, which is a world record for the marathoners. And one of the most interesting things that I noted, towards his finishing, he increases his speed. So, which means his eyes were fixed on the finishing line. And so, he was running slowly, learning so to save energy so that you don't get strength. And that thing interests me as we share with us, particularly as we look at the passage in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24 to 27. He says that there are people that run to get a crown that will not last. And there are some of us who run to get the, the crown that will last. So there are two rewards that are mentioned in that place, which is the finishing line. Our ultimate finishing line are not the titles people give us. Reverend, Doctor, Bishop, um, Professor. Okay, Those are titles that we are not born with. Some of us were born just with the mere names. We are child of God. That is the highest title you can get. And we want to finish the rest as children of God. That is, I want to tell you that we must begin as children of God and finish as children of God. Because there are many people that drop off their titles because maybe they did not run according to the rules. They did not go according to the expectation of the institution that bestowed that honor to them. And so in this particular morning as we go into our workplace, I challenge keep your eyes on the finishing line. As you serve God, do not look at your pastor. Do not look at your senior pastor. Do not look at your presiding bishop or bishop or whoever that is ahead of you. Not look at the HR in terms of who is going to give you an increment of salary. God is asking you to fix your eyes on the on, on his crown. To look at, uh, at him as the author and the finisher of your So Philip, keep your eyes on the finishing line and not just anything here. People can actually error and wrong you. You can get angry and throw your eyes and your hands up in the air. God is inviting you that you may fix your eyes on him. God is inviting you that you be able not to give up in your life, that you may not give up in your walk with him. Trust him. We get disappointed. You get discouraged. But there is one thing that I want to tell you. Fix your eyes on God. Do not be discouraged. Even some of you as you are working, um, uh, at one point I tell young people in my mentorship forum and say that God has asked us that you must persevere. You must be patient when you are looking at him. Some of you are working in places you are thinking that I want to just quit and just go and stay home. You will suffer, my brother. Keep your eyes on, the, on God and you will be able to persevere. Pray for your boss to change. Don't just wake up in the morning and say, I feel like I should quit. And that actually before you feel you have quit, I want to encourage you. You keep your eyes on the finishing line. Your finishing line is not the state where you are. There is a greater land to, to be conquered. There are greater places to be explored. And God is encouraging. You are volunteering or you are a person that has been in internship for a long period of time and there's nothing that is forthcoming in terms of employment. God is inviting you to keep your eyes on the finishing line. The finishing line is ahead. It's greater. It is super. It is exciting. And God will take you there. If you fix your eyes on the finishing line, and that finisher is God himself. You fix your eyes on him and trust him that I am going through whatever that I'm going through, but I can trust God will make a way there seems to be no way. Let me take you, my brother, my sister. There is hope. There is hope. There is hope for you. Keep your eyes on the finishing line. I pray for many of you this morning that God who is our Father, who is our Lord, who is our, our end and everything. He will walk with us. He will bless us in our coming in and going out. Help us, Lord, that we may fix our eyes on you. 
Some of us are discouraged of words that we have said or how we were praised or how, Lord, we were treated or mistreated. We want to pray that we can look unto you and our faith will be ready and to trust you and to walk with you. We thank you this morning. We bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldoret TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldoret. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldoret. And our website is eldoret.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.